Our wrestling see. guns are ten a penny round here. Eh? Uh, I'm not sure that that's true. I know it was the 98 car that came in the pits. That is Sheldon. It's Sheldon van der Linde has gone off at the Foxhall. This was the car that was in the lead yes. of the race. Out of the lead of the race. And his head is in his hands. His helmet is down and he's holding uh, It was the team car the that came into the pits. So what has happened here? He was behind traffic, including one oh. of the GT cars. He's been clipped by one of the Caymans. And that Cayman's gone off as well. Now... <sighs> That is one of the fancied cars and one of the, the very quick BMWs. They've really come to the fore. Uh, he's been on the phone to back at base and he's not making any... Yeah, two cars involved, three cars involved. So all three of those cars, there was something VAG involved in that as well, I think. Uh, as a, well, obviously the Cayman, but there was a hatchback involved there as well. I reckon that's three cars going into one where they couldn't go. Van der Linde picking his way through, got, got a clip and hit another car. Right, let's see if we can pick some numbers out for well, you here. It's Straub and Schwanz, right, the car, the Cayman on the... Oh, it's not a Cayman on the left. It's, it's, the, it's very it's TT. Fast. No, that's a, that's it's a 420 BM. Porsche. Yeah. Is it? Right, OK. Um, and there's another car to the left, which we did see. And that, there's a, that's a very badly damaged. So the Cayman is the further one. It's one of the GT tyres cars. It's one of the GT tyres cars. Yes. Um, and that, there's not a straight panel on that car. And there's some barrier damage mm. to the right. That's a big one. And where do we think that is then? Schraubenschwarz. Oh, Fuchsrohr. No, so it's a bit earlier in that action. Yeah, Schraubenschwarz. There are yellow flags it's there. just at another. the end of the foxhole as you start to go up the hill. Um, which the, is barrier, the barrier on the right-hand side of the track where the BMW That's went to is, is folded back about uh, half a metre at the top. Yeah, and I believe that Porsche is, uh, like I said, 420 to 4 motors, uh, alternative fuel. Uh, uh, which has been doing very well in its class, actually. Right, let's see if we can pick them out again. Uh, big damage to the front end of the 420 Porsche. Uh, now I can see why I thought it was a Audi TT, but I can see the distinctive radiators. I can't oh, see which of the one? GT tyres. In the one series? Looks like a hatchback to me. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Well, there is debris absolutely everywhere. The 99 race, previous race-leading BMW is diagonally across the track, facing in the opposite direction. And still, as we try and close it on the third car in that... That was the car that the, I saw the smoke the from Dacia. the engine. Is no, 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 it's no. a GT Tires that, car. That, that looks like right. a hatchback to me, so that would make it a one series, wouldn't it? Uh, it is 507. 507. One moment. So the VT2 rear tyre, GT Tire Motorsport by WS Racing, its driver is out. It is indeed. It was in class VT2 and it is a one series. Yeah, uh, good spot, mate. By WS Racing. You might have a future in this, do we? <laughs> um, and it was, yeah, the, so it's clearly it was the driver who started the race in that class. So it, Sheldon gets around the outside of the Porsche and, and then I. The, does he get clipped by the Porsche or does he move over? It does look on, like this. On, on the one series. That's a very odd accident. Um, it, the car seemed to judder a little bit, which yeah. seems to suggest there was contact with the Porsche, and because the direction change was extremely sudden. If there had been a sudden, uh, a sudden movement in the early laps of the race, that would have been the case of going off the dry line and just getting onto the damp patch and then yes. going. But at this point, it was bone dry. Teammate uh, Dries van Tort beside himself in the pits, looking at the screen. That was, it. That, was a, that absolutely was a contending car. Yes. Uh, all the drivers, by the way, are out of all the cars, and. Uh, looking somewhat ruefully, um, don't look any at the moment, and we, we defer, of course, to the medical checks, but uh, the damage is to the race chances uh, and the cars themselves rather than the, to the drivers, thank goodness. Uh, that, that, I have to say that one series has taken a heck of a battery. Yeah, it has. That's rattled up. I mean, there's no runoff there. There's a car's width on the left and a quarter of the car's width on the right. Um, so we know one of the drivers. What was the other car that we said? It was... Uh, 507. It was listed as Fabian... Fabian... Um, sorry, 507. Did they have a driver change in that car? Yeah, well, I was thinking that... 
the other one was driver the of 507 Spencer. should have changed because we're, we're, he's certainly the starting driver, it's Fabian uh, the Pedone. Four, right, but but the 420 is one of the Kreuzpointner sisters. Yes, yeah. you can see it's one yeah, of the Yeah, yeah, and that is Fritz Kreuzpointner's uh, daughters. And she's had a walk up to the other car, and she's saying, that was absolutely your fault. You, what, what were you thinking? And so that, that's interesting. Now, I can't tell from the timing screen which of the Kreutz pointers is in that car. The BMW driver seems mildly displeased at this turn of events. Right, so the blue flags were out. Ah, right, so they were... There was a green flag there, definitely. I, 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 I cannot discern what has happened, having watched that now three or four times. But what it did seem to happen is the BMW uh, then accelerated and went back past the spinning Sheldon van der Linde. Yeah, yeah what, I, what I think actually happened there was they saw the green flag, they got going, and the Porsche Cayman tried to pull out around the back of the GT tyres. Uh, car and uh, unfortunately going around the outside of that and getting clipped was uh, Sheldon van der Linde but concern all around good to see the drivers out we, we'll let you know which of the Kreutz Pointner sisters the twins it was Alessia or Jacqueline but uh, disappointment all around long faces in the Rover Racing BMW uh, garage because that was uh, the race leader their race leader out of the event yeah due for a pit stop shortly uh, I would say um, looking at the data that we have the van der Linde car is by far the least damaged of all three of them but it's facing the wrong direction at 45 degree angle to the road uh, and it is damaged and it's already lost enough laps that it is no longer a contender the issue is here with the generally speaking the reliability of these GT3 cars now at the pace and no intervention and wave buys and pass arounds etc then you lose time it is so difficult to get it back yes almost impossible really it's impossible to get laps back and i know that's a, a, a lap that makes sense it's an eight minute lap um you, you can make some time back look if if you get a little bit it was the less uh cross point now we're being told now in the four motors the mbh um she's fine walked away from the Porsche um, you can if you get a little bit of good luck at all more pointedly if your competitors catch slow zones that you don't catch you can make up a bit of time yeah. with that but you're not making up numbers of laps here no, Davey are you? 100% not the laps are just too long yeah that's just look. that's going to be I think fairly lengthy because if you're looking at the state of that guardrail on the right hand side there. Well, and I haven't moved any of the cars yet no. because it's so tight uh, uh, if this is your first experience and you're thinking, that's a red flag, why have the red flag? They haven't even got a safety car out there at the moment. That's not the way it's no. done here. No. That barrier will be repaired with a track services vehicle. That they might even put cones out and cone off half of the track and have people going through at much reduced 60 kilometres an hour speed uh, through there. Uh, and all the drivers now know where that is. They've all been past it at least once. Exactly so. And uh, again, the experience that teams and drivers gain from competing in the Nürburgring Langstrecken series is so vital. Can't hear you, Bruce. Sorry, yeah. that, I've knocked, my own, knocked myself off. Maybe that's a signal. But um, it was, you know, they, they learned the likely way these things